air out here has a distinctive smell, that of sea salt, nitrogen oxides, and an intriguing bouquet of volatile organic Bull sharks are frequent culprits in boat attacks. And now a dangerous army of lawless, trigger-happy sadists begin shooting anything that moves. Get out there! Bounty time, everybody! our shark to fight another day. Caviar Key provides a scenic setting for humanity's destructive impact on the natural world. and black attack, the orca. shark's oversized liver, high in vitamins A, C, and B12, plus iron and riboflavin. The water along Caviar Key is frequently described as gin clear, which reminds me, I could go for another Singapore sling.
To see this area is to witness the inability of the hydrosphere to support the growth of humanized landscapes along the Gulf. King mackerel remains a popular dish, in spite of being one of the top five fish for potential mercury poison. Running out for our shark. Hunters are on the water bringing their explosives and poor impulse control with them. Need to investigate some shark reports and painted sails? Bounty time. Let's make that money, boys! and black attack, the Orca. successful shark hunt for the people of Port Clovis. Now have a new favorite trick, killing things. until the hunters grow bored. Keen out for talent. Although, the wheels really got to work on those side areas. It's extraordinarily rare in the ocean to see fish hunting with their tails.
Another shark hunt draws to a close. The underwater world is a fantasia, bustling with color and activity. Once more, the shark turns back to this place of centered calm. because of these oil tankers spilling. But it brings a lot of money into the economy. Can't argue with that. Yes, it's quite beautiful here. Unfortunately, bull sharks can't see color. The ocean waters are driven constantly by tides, currents, and Saudi owned sea. I said Captain Vladdy sunk his treasure somewhere around here. Funding a diving expedition every year for 10 years, and I ain't found it yet. This rover is always swimming, searching for anything to satisfy the gluttony that is their defining trait. Well, Shark wins this round. With little fanfare, another bounty. <laughs> that shorelines belong to the public comes from Roman Emperor Justin, but only because he wasn't able to consult with the Association of Resort Developers' eternally wise lobbyists. Sophisticated wildlife management has never been a priority in Port Clovis, and so amateur hour begins. Sharks will attack man whenever and wherever the two shall meet.
Clover's really been sprouting up these past few years. Put some of my own money in this. Gonna be a laser tag front palm. The gulf is vast, 600,000 square surface miles to be exact, making it fifth among the world's seas. It seems Port Clovis has forgotten all about its rogue shark, for now. Staircases and a mosaic swimming pool, the Chatelaine is still only Port Clovis's second most ostentatious yacht.
putting sharks in their place. Hunters ensure they'll stay in their lane, so we don't have a Planet of the Apes situation on our hands. The university sends their students out here every summer to study the reefs. That <laughs> shit. I guess we all got different ideas about summer fun, yeah? The hunt is over, and there will be an inevitable rush on dollar drafts at Flamingo Joe's. Fishing is similar to regular fishing, but enjoyable only to upper Midwesterners.
season ends, hunters return to their normal routine of bouncing checks at liquor stores. The powers of society have retaliated with deterrent action, but mankind is ultimately impotent to stop Mother Nature's vengeance. Cetacean assassin, the sperm whale. Limitless hunger reigns supreme. Back in the good old days, the world practically ran on sperm whale oil. Now we can only watch them from afar, dreaming of tapping their skulls for all that sweet sperm scent.
Pete has a new boat, and from the looks of it, there are several features probably not legal for civilian use. So you found me. So what? Uh... Pete, I, I don't know what all this is, but you're scaring us. <laughs> what you gotta be scared about? You a Shaw? Uh, Pete, I don't want to, but I, I think we need to get the police, maybe the Coast Guard involved. You think I'm crazy? No, no. I'm the most sane man you ever seen. Look, I didn't get it easy. But when some... some shark take everything I got, I'll give her the same chance she gave my boy. None! Now get the f*** off my boat, before I kill you too. The f*** I say! <laughs> Hope you got a hunger on! We serve a shark at to fair tonight! Pete has built an impressive battleship, but will it be enough to endure the prehistoric might of a mega shark? While fears of Eagle Sea to co Petroleum's previous quarter's earnings,
Benjamin Franklin marveled at how quickly the Gulf Stream allowed him to travel back to America after his many Parisian whoring expeditions. See, I can't prepare today.
Thank <laughs> you. 
Laissez les bons temps rouler. I suppose there's a lesson to be gleaned here. Something about how the increasing commodification of the natural world has placed humans on a collision course with an environmental apocalypse. But this is a basic cable show where people tune in to watch sharks kill people and people kill sharks. So until next fishing season, this is Man Eater. The shark has somehow survived the multi-gigajoule explosion unscathed. But just like that, she's on to other things. In case you're wondering about me, the network Namby Pambies canceled our program due to depictions of actual death. So I'm now broadcasting online, free from the meddling of censorious busybodies.